So on this season of Beyond the Build, we wanted to do something completely different. We wanted to have Vengeance Racing on board, as always, with the last three, but we wanted to take that car and bring it to Vengeance Racing and learn a little bit more about them and show you guys what's going on. All right, so we want to come up and actually like come face to face because I have an idea about a build. Cool, cool. And I think that uh, it may work really well. We've done the Z06 together, it was awesome. The C7R inspired livery. We had the red one, and then we changed it to the Stealth Nardo. Yep. Um, but say it still stayed the same power package. Yep. So, been going back and forth on a CTSV. Nice, nice. A V3. 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 Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Hell yeah. I'm assuming we're flying the Cali and building this one again. How much easier is it for you to do it here than to come out to California? Much easier. I mean, we love coming out and hanging out with you guys, but on the same token, just having it here, working in our shop and our element. Keep it and lower. Yeah, yeah, you know, I mean, our chassis dyno, our tools, you know, I've got backup technicians if needed, things like that. I think it would just make more sense. So this is quite a bit different this season. We're actually letting them film, and usually we have our crew, and then they come down here. We were gonna fly out there, but Ron Mowen told me, hey, he's got it all under control with gearhead flicks, so we're gonna use their footage and then edit this thing up and see how it comes out. Hey guys, Ron from Vengeance Racing here. We are extremely excited to announce that we are building yet another sweepstakes vehicle for the guys over at Speed Society. This time, it is a 2017 Cadillac CTS-V. As we all know, this car is luxurious, it's mean, it looks sinister, and after we're done with it, it's gonna make a ton of horsepower and be an absolute blast to drive on the streets. Come out here, let's check it out and get started. All right, guys, so the 2017 Cadillac CTS-V typically makes about 530 to 550 wheel horsepower, at least it does on our chassis dyno. We've selected our stage five performance package to amp that up, and I'm gonna turn this over to Sean and let him tell you a little bit more about it. So what we have in front of us right here is our stage five performance package for our V3 Cadillac over here. And this is really gonna be a good combination for what this car is and what this car is ultimately going to be. It'll make about 700 horsepower to the tires. It'll still ride like a Cadillac. You'll be able to go cross country in it, no problems. And you'll have 700 horsepower right at your right foot at all times. The last three real builds that we did here at headquarters were Vengeance Racing. And the reason is because they're so clean. I mean, they are the underground racing of the LS world. I say it every time, but I'm dead serious. I'm gonna go through methodically and start at the front of the engine bay and work our way into the engine and then out the exhaust. So everything that's laid out on the table here might not necessarily be in the right order, but we'll jump around and make sure that you understand the airflow of the engine and what each part is doing. Starting off with the induction side of things, we utilize Rotofab cold air inductions for our V3 performance packages. The Rotofab fits amazing, has an extremely large filter, a great enclosure that seals to the hood, and with our testing has proven to be the most powerful cold air induction system on the market for the CTSV. That Rotofab is going to feed a Kong Performance CNC ported LT4 supercharger. This is a stock supercharger. Everything's going to bolt back in and look completely OEM. But if you go inside of it, Greg Kong has done an amazing job with a CNC program that we see picks up big power. And honestly, we've tested almost every supercharger system on the market, ported program rather, and Kong Performance delivers above and beyond the rest. The heartbeat of the engine will be provided by Cam Ocean. This is a custom ground camshaft to our specifications. This is actually our stage one LT4 camshaft. Uh, it's an 8660 billet core cam. Uh, it does have the 32% fuel pump lobe on it for the high pressure fuel pump. This will drive the factory LT fuel pump slightly higher than a stock camshaft would to give us the added fuel needed for the big power and big torque we're gonna see here. From the guys over at Late Model Engines, we have a set of CNC'd LT4 cylinder heads. Uh, we use Late Model Engines exclusively for all of our short block assemblies, all of our machine work, as well as any CNC'd cylinder heads that we might use for any builds in-house. Uh, the LT4 heads specifically have CNC'd intake and exhaust runners, CNC'd combustion chambers with a single piece stainless exhaust valve as well to improve reliability. Topped off with a set of BTR, that's Brian Tooley Racing, 660 dual lift springs and titanium retainers. Also from our friends at LME, we are gonna utilize their billet uh, LME front cover for the LT1, LT4. This front cover allows us to remove the VVT from the equation. We go back to a traditional four bar cam gear 
and a non-VVT camshaft. We will also be utilizing LME's DOD delete plugs, so we will have a traditional, basically a Gen 3, Gen 4 camshaft in play, no displacement on demand, no variable valve timing. This is gonna improve reliability, as well as give us the ability to run higher lift, more duration, without any problems occurring from those extra systems being in place. One of my favorite things about Vengeance Racing is how he actually brings in the parts, right? There's like a whole entire wood wall that has shelves or cubbies, if you will, and they put the list and then whoever's getting a build done, it literally is that list. And when those parts are there, then that car rolls in and they get everything done. I've seen a lot of shops in my life, a lot of shops, none are like Vengeance Racing. Cooks provided us with a two inch stainless long tube header, three inch collectors, going into the Cooks green cats uh, with a full X pipe and Cooks full stainless exhaust all the way out to the rear bumper. Uh, they have their own high performance mufflers, includes polished tips. So this thing's full stainless, made in the USA, right in North Carolina. And Cooks is our official exhaust for Vengeance Racing, if you will. Weapon X provided us with upgraded heat exchanger cores. Obviously the CTSV is supercharged from the factory. The factory heat exchangers are good. However, with us driving the blower harder, turning a few additional RPM, we really wanted to make sure that the cooling is intact. We have no idea where this car is gonna wind up in the country. We don't wanna have inlet temp issues with the supercharger or any concerns for the, the winner of this thing having ultimate reliability. So Weapon X provided us with larger cores. We are replacing all three of these. This is gonna improve the efficiency of the supercharger, keep those inlet temps in line, and provide for a very reliable combination. The last piece of the puzzle, just because we are turning more boost and more RPM and we'll have higher cylinder pressure, is we've gone with UPR's billet catch can that is ventilated. This will replace the factory PCV system that's currently on the vehicle and ensure that we've got adequate ventilation for the LT4 once all these modifications are complete. So again, the, the overall concept of this build get air in, get air out, make this engine as efficient as possible while delivering a vehicle that anybody can drive. I don't care if you're eight years old or 80 years old, you can get in this car and drive it across country on pump gas. And when you touch that accelerator pedal, you're gonna have about 700 wheel, 150 to 170 more to the tire over stock with no sacrifice in what this car's capable of on a daily basis. What's the question? Vengeance is the answer. That's really where I'm left. So remember guys, like, comment, share, and remember, you can actually win this car. So you can win this car or 50K cash. You head over to speedsociety.com, grab some entries. Every $5 you spend is an automatic entry or grab a car club membership. So while this one was a lot of setup, next episode, I'm super pumped on, this car is coming together.